everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my foundation routine and I'm going to like talk in between and then fast forward some parts so it's not like too too long. So, um, and then I'm going to go do my makeup and then come back and then voila. So, the foundation I'm using today is the Lancome Tint 24 Hour Foundation. I got this in New York and um, I really thought, I, I really want this for a long time. Um, it's the black cap so it's the new newer version of the old foundation and I had the previous one and it had the pearl iridescence in it and I think that's more geared to like drier more mature skin and this one's more geared to if you have like oily combination skin and you want a more matte look. This really lasts a long time. It doesn't last 24 hours because I'm at school for a really long time but it do when it fades it's not blotchy. Like, it's a, like it is like a gel kind of. It's not really liquidly liquidy like the first um, foundation. You can like go like this and it would slide everywhere. This just stays right put on your hand and then I just use a stippling brush and I just put it on my face and I do like a couple layers in this video just because I do have problematic skin right now because it's been a very hectic week for me and I just really like this foundation. It stays matte. It looks beautiful throughout the day. It is expensive. It's I think it's around like 40 some dollars, but I really like this foundation and I'd rather splurge a little more on a foundation that will help me even out my skin tone and hide my acne scarring. So if you're in Sephora or something and you want to get a sample of this, do it so you can like look at it first and then buy the product, but I really like this. I get one fluid ounce and there's SPF 15 in it so that's really good for the summertime. but yeah so definitely try out this foundation if you want to if you, and if you have drier skin definitely try out the original I think the original is cheaper than the new foundation but I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next video alright so I already put my primer on because I had to like turn my camera off to recharge it but I just put the Too Faced Prime and Poreless and I really like this stuff if you see a dog walking by we're, we're dog sitting so I just put a pump and a half, so, and then I just put this and I'll just put it, I'm like trying to look in a mirror and figure this out, so that's probably why I'm like looking up into the heavens, okay, freaking nightmare makeup challenge when I'm not trying to make it a challenge, jeez, okay, so I don't put all the foundation on, um, my face first. I just blend this out. So I'm going to blend it out. foundation and I normally put let me see if I can zoom you in so you can see okay so I normally just put like one thin layer on and then I put it on and then I build it up and I'm using I use the Sigma flat top kabuki f50 and I just kind of just tap it in my skin so then it sinks in this foundation I love it's like a matte finish and also um, it's full coverage. You can make it full coverage because it's easy to layer and it doesn't like look awful when you do layer it because there are some foundations that look like complete crap when you do layer that um, like a foundation. The next thing I'm going to use is my Lancome McQueek Complete in Cami. I hate the packaging of this. Like you can tell it's like disgusting because it leaks out. So yeah. I'm just going to put this on any problems or redness in my part because I have a lot of redness. Not a lot, but I just think it's from like acne and stuff, so. <laughs> oh my god, Lillian, Lillian, you say hi to the camera. Look at the camera. I know, Auntie Allison's busy. Why don't you go play with your little rabbit? Oh my word, Lily, go, go explore. She never gets to explore, so she's like, oh my god. Okay, now while that's sinking in, I'm going to do my brows, and I'm just doing the e.l.f. brow kit. Find my brush, y'all. Lillian, can you find me find my brush? I feel like this video is all over the place. 
Okay, and I'm just going to be using my e.l.f. brush. I'm just going to dip it into the wax because I don't really fill in my brows. I just kind of set them in place. And then to set our foundation, I'm just going to be using be using the Makeup Forever um, High Definition Powder. And just a Sigma Tapered Face F25. And then just apply this all over my face. I kind of just like dab it on. I'm not putting a lot on it. This stuff is like almost out, so I have to like. It looks like I'm putting a lot on, but I'm not. Okay, so after that, I'm just going to do my contouring so I can just put that all in one video. And this is the Too Faced Bronze um, Chocolate. This is the original one. I know they have one that's like the light version. No. Allison likes the dark chocolate. That is so bad. So what I'm going to do is just like contour my cheeks and then bring it out to my temple. Oh, and I'm using an e.l.f. complexion brush. I need to like match my face to my neck. So we just like bring it up to the temple. I feel like my hair is getting everywhere on my face. Down your nose. and then down your neck. Okay. And then for blush, for blush I'm just going to use the same Sigma brush and I'm going to use Max Utter Game. I got it at CCO, but it's just like a light peachy color. I'm just going to pass on the apples with my cheeks. And then just bring it up so it looks more natural so it's not just like big clown cheeks and that is my makeup for like my foundation and everything so I'm going to finish up my eyes and lips and I will be right back okay so this is the final like look with all my eyes like my eyes and then my lips are done and what I'm wearing on my lips because I think I'll like get questions or something is max hang up and it's just like a nice um, berry color you can get one the Clinique ones um, it's like a really dark cherry color and then it comes off as like a nice light berry color I just really like this for the fall so I just decided to wear this lip color so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next bye guys